Hello and welcome to Finextra. I'm Emily Haller and I'm here at Cybos 2016 in Geneva with Andy Hurst from SAP and Mike Laylock from Intel. Thank you both for joining me. Thank you, Emily. So, Andy, we're hearing a lot about machine learning right now. Has it turned a corner in terms of mainstream use in financial services? Well, it's certainly one of the topics here at Cybos being discussed, but the technology has a very wide scope from predictive analytics to AI to cognitive computing. So banks have to kind of work out where they are on that maturity curve and work with the pieces that are going to help them along that particular journey. But what they really do need is a real-time data platform because business is really moving in real time. So actually having that common data platform that allows you to then investigate and work on those predictive and capable to, um, machine learning technologies allows you to create insight, value and differentiation through data in banking. Mike, what are the main applications of machine learning that you're seeing? In financial services, Emily, we're seeing three primary area, areas for uh, machine learning. The first is around compliance and risk management with use cases like AML and uh, fraud detection. The second is around customer engagement and customer satisfaction, that 360 degree view of the cust customer. And there we're seeing machine learning used in recommendation engines for financial products uh, to anticipate product needs or interests at an individual level, integrating uh, personal and contextual information. And the third area is around cybersecurity and IT operational analytics within the bank. How does the machine learning trend relate to the need for banks to better analyze not just structured, but unstructured data? Well, I think banks have been good for a number of years at managing unstructured information. But unstructured information is where all the growth is going to be in the future. So voice, text, email, and in the future, sensor information, perhaps also images. These are going to have to be mashed together with structured and unstructured into one insight which gives you a much richer view of your customer record. That's how banks are going to be able to create value, insight and differentiation by having a much broader view of the client to better serve that client. So that's why I think unstructured and structured coming together is going to be critical to the future. What would you say are the features of a really forward looking approach to data in banking? And how important in that context is the role of the chief data officer? So we see the data gathering, data aggregation, data processing, and data analytics as foundational to digital transformation in banking. You need an agile, scalable, open architecture optimized for data to deliver innovation and new value and services to your customer. The chief data officer plays a pivotal role in defining the uh, an an analytics and uh, data platform for next generation banking services to be delivered. He or she also plays a role in driving cultural changes and collaboration within the bank to remove data silos so that the bank can get full access to their data and extract full value from the data assets they hold. Mike, Andy, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. And thank you for watching.